Okay, it's time to mirror our muscles. Let me just add that I've added these object merges pointing to the rest bones just to clean up the scene a bit so that the wires weren't crossing over each other too much. So let's begin. So I will put down a muscle mirror or mirror as the North Americans say. I hope you will be able to bear with me and understand my accent. Uh, so the muscle mirror is quite straightforward in terms of its parameter settings. The biggest thing you have to bear in mind is this group node here um, to make sure that you're not mirroring your center muscles. This is a new feature in Houdini 20.5, I believe. So before you had to split muscles up if you had central muscles, but now you can all do it on one node. Um, if you forget to do it and you get to your muscle solver and you look at your constraints, you will see that they have exploded all weirdly. And that is a sign that you have duplicated some of your muscles. So if we uh, go here, we can select a muscle, hit enter. Um, I'm just doing this to get to do the tricky work so I don't have to type and I'm just replacing the name with an asterisk so that we have at muscle ID equals L underscore asterisk. You can also say at muscle ID exclamation mark equal C underscore asterisk, which will mean not equal to the central muscles. If you want something more generic, maybe if you have um, your muscles on the right, although I suppose then you could also just say R. It's up to you. Um, so that now should fix those weird explodey bits. Yes, great. And these um, parameters are all quite straightforward. Obviously, if you have named your muscle IDs with lowercase, you'll want to change this to lowercase. Um, if your mirror plane is a different plane, you'll want to change that. You can change the distance. You can change the direction if you need to mirror it in the opposite direction. So this is all very straightforward. However, the complexity lies in the mirroring of the constraints in that, well, currently there is a bug that you will have to be aware of and work around. But even um, when the bug is fixed, depending on how you um, set your attachment constraint, uh, attachment candidates, you might have some issues with the mirror. So it's just good to double check that everything has mirrored correctly. Um, you can do it with the muscle solver and the um, using the guides and these options, but I actually realized that this is a bit slow because it needs to sim essentially each time you change something. So a faster way is to put down another muscle constraint properties node. And it's safe to put it down. Well, firstly, this is just for visualization, but even if we did want to change something, it is safe to put it downstream of things like the muscle paint and the muscle mirror. Um, when you've already got one further upstream, right? So this is where everything is initialized. We've all the attributes are initialized. We've perhaps edited the, the attributes a bit with the muscle paint. And now this muscle constraint properties, as long as we're not trying to change any of the attributes, um, it should be safe to, to put it downstream. Okay. So I'm going to use this to visualize my constraints instead of the muscle solver. So I want to see my muscle to muscle constraints. And superficially, it seems okay. Muscle to bone is not doing anything. Let's uh, remove this. Okay, I guess my plan for world domination, I mean, my plan for making this be a quicker way to look at it, it failed. What if I do this? Nope. Okay. Well, ignore that spiel. Um, let's go back to using the muscle solver vellum. Um, okay. So I will just look at these individually. Okay. So now let's look at this in a bit more detail. So the big thing that the muscle mirror does 
that is more um, more nuanced than just a regular mirror, shall we say, is in the these detail attributes, these muscle glue dict, muscle to bone dict, muscle to muscle dict, these dictionaries are all created with the muscle constraint properties node and the muscle mirror edits it. Now, let's have a look at the values. That's annoying that it's getting cut off at the top. I haven't seen that before. Maybe try and... Huh. I'm going to, instead of doing the muscle glue dict, I'm going to do it in the muscle to muscle dict. So let's... Um, I want to say, oops, I'm just going to look at these. Okay. I don't want these muscle to muscle constraints. Okay. So I'm going to select these muscles. I'm going to hit enter. I'm going to hit A. Okay, so what I can do um, under my attachment candidates is I can specify the muscles to attach to all of the other leg muscles, but there might be situations where you'd rather say not certain ones. And this is also where the bug is. So I'm going to show you the buggy way just so that we can um, be clear on how to resolve that if you ever experience it. Okay, so I'm going to select these two. Now, I said before, you can say exclamation mark equals for not equals, right? Um, did that work? Okay. Uh, now, it is equal to. Now, for one, you can say not equals, but you can't say it for multiple because that logically, this doesn't work. You need to group them together so you can um, actually remove this muscle ID not equals to and put in a comma instead, but no space. Okay, did that do anything? Yes, it removed the one direction. And now we'll also want to do the other direction. So these two, press A. And I'm going to say muscle to muscle, attachment candidates. And I'm going to select these. And I'm going to say not equal, comma, get rid of the spaces and the muscle ID and the equal sign, comma, comma. I know this is a bit frustrating. Most of the time, it will probably be easier to just specify the actual attachment candidates. And, but I'm showing this just for clarity's sake. Okay. So now we don't have any, um, we don't have any muscle to muscle constraints between these muscles. Okay. Now let's see how that mirrors. Oh no, the muscle to muscle constraints have returned on this side, but they're not there on that side. So what happened? What happened was, we can see here, for the rectus abdominis, you see that it is saying muscle ID is not equal to R gracilis, R psoas major, excuse me if I'm not pronouncing these Latin words correctly, <laughs> but basically you can see they all say R right? Um, and if we look right one before the muscle mirror, it's rectus abdominis, it's all L. So what it's gone and done is the mirror has gone and replaced all the L's with R's, which is great when it's uh, done it for a duplicate, for a mirrored one, right? So you, you can see, for instance, unfortunately, I can't um, use my cursor and show this at the same time. Um, oh, there. Okay. So, okay. So the rectus abdominis has all these L's 
Now, some let's look at the L chrysalis. So this is, if you're not familiar with dictionaries, these blue ones are the keys. And then the um, colon is up, everything after the colon is the value, and then it's separated by a comma. So basically what happens is for when the keys are left-hand muscles, it's going to keep this one, it's going to duplicate it, and replace all the L's with R's. And it will keep the C, if the C is in the value side, but it will duplicate this and um, replace the R's. However, when there is a C here, so there's no L in the key, it's not going to duplicate this entry, right? It's going to keep this entry, and, but it is still going to replace all the L's with R's. So I need to fix this bug so that it will um, keep the key, but duplicate and combine the entries. I just haven't got around to that yet because I only discovered this bug today, but that is why there's an issue. But the, the nice thing is you can actually see how it's breaking. Uh, so this is before the mirror. So now on the mirror itself, we can see all the L ones have been duplicated and the L's have been replaced with R's, like I said, but the C one wasn't duplicated because it doesn't make sense to duplicate it, but the L's have been replaced with R's. Okay, so that is why it is breaking. So how do we fix this before I make my bug fix? Well, there's a couple of options. The first is only going to work for muscle to muscle and it won't work for muscle to bone. So use this with caution, but you can replace the L's with asterisks. Okay. And now it should work. Now you can see there aren't any of those muscle to muscle constraints here, and we can inspect the um, dictionary and we'll see it has kept all the asterisks, asterisk, asterisks, I have no idea what the plural of asterisks is. Uh, yeah, probably asterisks, but in any case, asterisks are staying asterisks, so it's not replacing L's with R's, and it knows to that the asterisk means L or R for the muscles. I don't know why it doesn't know this for the bones, but anyway. So this is a valid workaround for muscle to muscle. However, it won't work for muscle to bone. So let's see what happens in the muscle to bone case. Um, I will do for the, let's actually look at the muscle to bone. So let's, just for simplicity's sake, I'm just going to do just for the central muscle, I'm going to add a new one, and I'm going to go to the muscle to bone tab, attachment candidates, have I specified? Yes, I have. I'm going to say, okay, first let's just try the one side. And let's say not equals. And if we go to the muscle mirror, and we have to show, let's show muscle to bone. And you see it unfortunately comes back there, but it isn't there. So you may say, oh, but um, I might not have my muscles married here yet, but I have married my bones. Well, both sides are already there. Okay, so let's choose both of these. Oh, I accidentally said equal to instead of not equal to. I will try to um, make this a bit more user friendly in the future. Okay, so now you see. Yes, it's attaching. Let's also do the these bones. Well, I guess I could reduce the distance. Yeah, okay. Uh, undo. I'm going to just reduce the distance threshold so it doesn't go to those. Okay. 
So now when I go to my muscle, muscle solver vellum, it is still there on the left side. And that is because it has gone and, spoiler alert, replaced the L's with R's. So uh, this is the wrong one, muscle to bone dict. So you see here, it's just got R pelvis, R pelvis twice instead of R pelvis and L pelvis. And if we now try um, an asterisk, that doesn't work at all. I don't know. It doesn't know how to interpret the asterisk for the bones for some reason. Maybe it's because it's a bone ID and not a muscle ID. Um, in any case, uh, what to do now, right? The options are as follows. Option number one is to put another muscle constraint properties node after your mirror. And it's, and because we're only going to be dealing with the constraints, uh, the attachment candidates in this one, it's fine to have it after the muscle paint and everything because we've already initialized all our attributes with the first ones up here. Okay. So this is just to fix the muscle to bone constraints and possibly also muscle to muscle if, if you want to, but let's say, and also because I've already got the muscle constraints up here, I don't need to have a first tab that is a general one. We can just go straight into setting it for a specific muscle. Oh, I'm in the vellum so that's why it's... Okay, so specific muscle set, and we can do a detachment candidates, and we can say... Oh, I haven't specified the bone ID. Oh, and I also actually need bones as an input. Okay, so I can say those and not that. And just to be clear, it's not just this the not that's making it break. It's because the muscle specified is a central muscle and there's an L and an R that we want to specify in the attachment candidates. Okay. So that uh, looks pretty good. Okay, so that is one option to have another muscle constraint properties node um, after your muscle mirror um, where you've already gotten muscle properties before. And then you can just specify the ones that are broken. And this will, this is probably, if you don't have too many central muscles, this is pretty straightforward, right? I only have a total of three central muscles. So worst case, I only, I'm gonna have three tabs here, right? So uh, it's not too much work. Uh, I would just make this clear that this is to fix central, I can type muscle um, attachment candidates. Let me zoom in a bit so that's clearer to see. Okay. Um, so this is one way and we can see also in the dict that this is final. Um, so you only need to, let me just reiterate, you only need to worry about it for where the specified muscle is a central muscle or like a non-L muscle, right? Um, the other way around, if you have a, a left-hand muscle here and you're specifying a C muscle here, it can handle that. It's just when the C is in the specified group. So that why in this case, that's why in this case, it's only for maximum of three muscles that I'll have to do any fixes. Um, and if the whole asterisk thing was confusing to you, you can do the muscle to muscle fixes here too. Um, the other option, this is more of an option if you're sort of, you've already done all of this and you realize too late that it's broken, like I did, and you don't wanna have to go back and change all of your muscle constraint setups. But what you could do if you want to, if you find all of this a bit confusing maybe, what you can do that might be simpler is to put a muscle mirror earlier. And basically I have decided to put the muscle mirror at this point in 
the workflow because apart from this little bug with the central muscles, it's the most convenient place to put it because you have gives you the least amount of work that you have to do for both sides. If you don't need to worry about painting on both sides and you don't need to worry about selecting muscles on both sides for all of this, it's the most convenient to put it here, but it is still completely valid to put your muscle mirror before your muscle constraint properties. Well, you can put it, really, you can put it anywhere, but if you want to get the most benefit but not worry too much about the weird buggy behavior, then you can put the, put it here, um, specify your group. And now at this point, there is no, there are no muscle, none of those dicts exist yet. They're only going to be created here. So now you just have to make sure that when you specify your constraints, you're probably going to have to do it for more muscles. So that's the downside of this. That's why I don't really like this method. Um, but you can do that. And then not worry about having one here. But I think it is probably going to be the least amount of work to do it this way and just have the muscle mirror at the end and um, just have an extra muscle constraint properties just to fix a couple of muscles. Hopefully some of you realize that the reason why uh, this wasn't working earlier when I tried to use it as a display was because I didn't have the bones connected as the second input. So uh, that was a bit of a brain fart on my end. Uh, but yes, I was right at first in saying you don't need the muscle solver to visualize the constraints after the muscle mirror. You can just use a muscle constraints property and um, it will work if you have your bones specified as the second input. Um, just to note that in this case, I've used it to, to fix the, the constraints. If you're just using it as a display thing, you will just want to make sure that you have the enable all off on the first tab because it was erroring, it seems, when there were no tabs at all. Um, and you can just use it for visualizing and then delete it when you're happy or keep it off to the side. But in this case, we're actually also using it to fix the stuff so we can keep it. Cool. In the next video, we will be looking at creating the tension lines.